All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a brand new full assessment in Synergy. This is different than creating a quick assessment in Synergy. Uh, this one is a full assessment where you will be taking questions from the item bank and putting it into a new assessment. So this is, if you're looking for the quick assessment video, that's on another spot. So go there. This one is for the full assessment. So we're going to go over to the assessment page and you're going to go over down to where it says assessment grid. And up is going to pop the grid here with question or with your item banks and all of that great stuff. So what you're going to want to do is hit new and you're going to want to hit full assessment right here. That's going to load up the full assessment page where you will create your full assessment. So this gives you all of the information you're thinking of. So for example, I've created one on the industrial revolution and I'm going to make sure this is live because if it, as long as it's in live, it's available for my test is available to schedule to my students. And from here, you want to select your item bank. So for right now, I only have questions in my personal bank for Brian Tuminelli. I'm going to hit that. I have questions there. And from here, you could upload a file for students. If you want to give them a resource to use, maybe they can uh, look over some sort of paper or document you have. You would upload it right here. And here under description, you can type in the description of your test. And also you can add instructions for your students here under the instructions tab if you so choose. Now sharing here at the bottom or at the next spot is all about who you want to share this test with. Do you want to share it with the entire school? Do you want to share it with your department? That is up to you. So if I want to share it with Alvarez, I could do it like that. If I want to share it, uh, with a certain individual, you can start typing in use subjects or users, things like that as well. I'm going to kind of leave that blank for now, but that is how you share with other people, colleagues, if you guys are doing the same test. Now down to settings, this is where things can get a little interesting here, and it's up to you how you want to do this. Um, for test level settings, you can determine how this test is used. So... Um, will you allow copying and now these little icons here um it helps you see what this i what this uh um explains so copying when it's enabled others can make copies of this test not your students this is actually people you share the test with so if you're sharing it with colleagues and instead of having everyone taking the same test um, they can make copies of it so they could have a kind of a separate one themselves that they, maybe they want to edit a little bit. That's, that's fine. So that's what you do here. Same with printing. Others can print the test. Again, not your students, but other staff members and people you share it with. Um, you can see here there's a bunch of others. Again, you just, I'm not going to go through all of them. You just have to highlight your cursor over them, and then I'll explain it for you. Now, for student settings, you could choose – how the test is presented to students. So for example, if you want them to do things like a, you want to randomize the question order, remember questions are known as items, you can select that. And what's kind of cool is if you want that to be the norm or you want that to happen for every test you create from here on out, there's a little lock icon that you hit that, you hit the lock feature. And it does this for all scheduled instances of this test. So every time you, you post this test, it will randomize the test order. So you could also randomize the answer order if you'd like. So it's all different. You can provide access to the rubric. You can allow recording. Secure browser is available as well, but this only allows students to be able to take this on a secure browser. Um, I'm not sure what that is going to look like yet with the district, and I will update this video when we figure out what the secure browser actually looks like, so on and so forth. So you can choose how students see it. Now, anyone else who's attached this scheduled um, test, such as maybe paraeducators or others, you can um, they can look at some of these things that you allow here. So you can take a look at some of those as well. And that allows this other staff who are tied to the test to view it. Now, scoring. 
you could change how students scores calculate display and anything else score related so uh, this is through a scoring band if you wanted to create a scoring band you hit the create band here and you could say test band and value of two results in two or value of five results in five you could change the rules here so score range five to three becomes or five to two becomes a one or something like that so um, that's if you want to change rules it's kind of interesting you could choose if you so choose otherwise don't worry about the bands um, that's just how it works now accommodations are good for students who are going to need accommodations here so if you hit this little button here you can see what is available if you want students to say in your math you want them to have access to a calculator that's great you can select that or you can choose text to speech you can add color tools there's a strikeout feature that cuts out stuff that they don't need to read or you can have students mark questions to come back to review later if they'd like a highlighter feature all this stuff these are accommodations for students and they'll be set uh, by default for all students taking the test now attributes are general information for test classification in other words this is how you kind of want to classify your test it doesn't change anything about your test but it's good to do so you can see and kind of compare how your students do um, maybe with the school as a whole or you want to compare classes uh, because grade level for me uh, in world history sometimes I can have students from every grade I always like to select each and every grade obviously you want to select your um, your subject here what, what's your subject and if you have to the course so for me it's world history um, you can see here a bunch of history here I'll just select world history you don't necessarily have to fill that out it's just nice to do the same with the mastery analysis band default analysis band you, you don't have to fill any of that out if you don't need to it still will generate a lot of great reports for you now the test questions here this is where you start adding the test questions okay this is after you've created the test questions or in the item bank so this is probably easiest to do you could theoretically create a new test question item right here which says create a new item or you can add existing items I've already created test questions for this so I'm gonna hit add existing items here and it's going to open up what um, my items are here and you can scroll down and you could actually search this is for you to search for certain specific questions so I have both the bank for my questions and the um, inspect plus item bank which is the kind of questions created by synergy if you wanted to search for specific questions this all this information helps you search for those specific questions so I'm actually going to scroll down and I'm going to find the questions that I have and I have right here these two questions that I created and I'm going to make sure that I click both of them so they're green and I'm going to hit and to make sure that they are in there themselves you also hit select all there if that works for you and you can see that they're in there and then um, a lot and that's how it is that's how you set it up there now you go back up and you hit done selecting you can see your two questions pop up right here now if you wanted to add another create a new item here this will bring you to a test question creation page that you could actually see on another video on um, that you could create a question remember questions there's a bunch of different types here so you could do it directly right here and put it in the item banks that you want it so you don't have to keep toggling back and forth so it's right there for you so these are my test questions they're set up ready to go and all I have to do is hit save which saves the test or you can do save and schedule so if you create your full test and you're ready to schedule it you can hit save and schedule I'm gonna hit that and right here you'll see there's my test it's active based on the fact that I want it open 
you can see all your settings here and everything goes over everything and there you go everything looks good and all you got to do is hit save the test is now ready to go so if you want to take a look at what your test looks like you can head on down to the assessment dashboard here and you can see here's my quiz ready to roll very simple and you can see here if you want to schedule this test it's all set ready to go for you to schedule and get ready for your students this is where you find it on the dashboard if you have any questions hope that helps email me contact me and i'm happy to help you